Hey guys, Frog Shield here. Taking back up where we left off, the Epistle of Paul, the Apostle to the Romans, chapter 14. Him that is weak in the faith receive ye, but not to doubtful disputations. For one that believeth that he may eat all things, another who is weak eateth herbs. Let him not let him let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. And let not him which eateth not judge him that eateth, eateth, for God hath received him. Who art thou that judgest another man's servant? To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, 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 he shall be held up, for God is able to make him stand. One man esteemeth one day above another, another esteemeth every day like. Let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. He that regardeth the day regardeth unto it unto the Lord. He and he that regardeth not the day to the Lord, he doth not regard it. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. And he that eateth not, to the Lord he eateth not, and giveth God thanks. For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord, and whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live therefore or die, we are the Lord's. For to this end Christ both died, and rose, and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall, we, shall, we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another any more, but judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block on or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. I know, and am persuaded by the Lord Jesus, that there is nothing unclean of itself, but to him that esteemeth anything to be unclean, to him it is unclean. But if thy brother, by, but if thy brother be grieved with thy meat, now walkest thou not charitably, destroy not him with thy meat, for whom Christ died. Let not then your good be evil spoken of, for your kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. For he that is in these things serveth Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace, and things wherewith one may edify another. For meat destroy not the work of God, all things indeed are pure, but it is evil for the man who eateth with offense. It is good neither to eat flesh nor to drink wine, nor anything whereby thy brother stumbleth or is offended or is made weak. Hast thou faith? Have it to thyself before God. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that which he alloweth, and that he doubt, doubteth if, if is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not faith is not of faith is sin.